to the west. But I promise you this. When the church was birthed on the day of Pentecost, in downtown Jerusalem, yes. there was in an upper room, and everybody in that upper room got the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Now, so watch this. You don't think it's important? Jesus, Mary carried Jesus like a woman does for a length of nine months, but she was still required to get the Holy Ghost. Yes, she was. She got she in the upper know. room with Mary Magdalene yes, she was. and 118 more of them. Yes, she was. Now, if her bed, listen, if her being the mother of Jesus Jesus. And she got the Holy Ghost in the upper room. What, what does it make you think you can go to heaven without the Holy yes. Ghost? Yes. You must be born again. Yes. Yes. In the Old Testament, if this man dropped over dead, and we will one of these days, we'll all drop over dead. Yes, we will. <laughs> no, that, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but here's where they write. What's your name? What's your name? Henry. Henry dropped over dead, and he gave up the ghost. That's right. Uh -oh. That's, what That's how they would write it in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament? That's right. Because a ghost is a spirit. Right. They but one Holy Ghost. Somebody says, what's the Holy Ghost? He's a ghost that's holy. <laughs> He's a ghost that's holy. A spirit. Somebody said, what did Jesus have inside of him? Well, the Bible said it was full of the Holy Ghost without measure. Now, watch this. Now, if the ghost that was in spirit in Jesus Christ is in him and it's holy, what makes you think you did? You got a different Holy Ghost than what was in him yeah. when they got one Holy Ghost. Right. Now, so inside of you is the spirit of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. What is the spirit of Jesus Christ? It's that ghost that's holy. That's right. Come on. Yeah. Listen. listen. <laughs> Watch this. God Almighty, this is a simple child can understand it. Watch. Here was Mary out there while she closed up, what she was doing. The angel spoke to her and says, Hey, you're highly favored among women. And here's what read your Bible says. Now the Holy Ghost is going to impregnate you and get you pregnant. And guess what? You're going to have the Son of God. If the Holy Ghost ain't the Spirit of God, <laughs> now listen to me. I'm going to say that slow. If the Holy Ghost Come on. got her pregnant, and the Bible said the Holy Ghost did impregnate her, right. how did he become a son of God? That's right. If that spirit wouldn't. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. There are three the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Now, what's this? Then when you get that option or the anointing and the Holy Ghost is the oil, it is the anointing, then all of a sudden you don't have to guess about who He is. It's quickened to you by the Spirit. It comes by revelation. God does not quicken carnal things to people. It has to come through the Spirit. Now watch this. The world looks at Jesus and they stripped him. They see him as a second person. He ain't never been a second person. He never will be a second person. He'll never be sitting. He don't play second fiddle. Understand this. I want to show you something. Jesus said, Abraham seen my days. And he rejoiced. Jews looked at him and said, Man, you're not even 50 years old. How do you know Abraham was? He said, Before Abraham was, I am. I am. Now, when he said, I am, the next verse, the Jews picked up stones. See, in the West here, it goes over our head. Because we don't get it. He didn't say, I was, or I was. Whatever. He said, I am. Well, the next verse, it says, they picked up stones to stone him. Because when he said those two things, 
things I am. They, what he was saying is this. I am that I am. Yes. And they said, you are a man making yourself God. But I can go one step further. Yes. He was God who made himself in a man form. Yes. Now there's a spirit believing that you that's right. Come on. Come on. Watch this. If you don't think Jesus is around, the Bible said that in the book of Exodus, that rock was Christ. What it says. Watch this. Isaiah summed it up. He said, For unto us a son is given, and a child is born. And his name shall be called, shall be called Amen. Wonderful yes. Counselor, Amen. the Mighty God, and the Everlasting Father. Who? Mm. The child. I just got a cold way. <laughs> We're still preaching. <laughs> Watch. Everybody today, and, and I want you to listen to me close. God, I, I, this message is going totally different from where I thought it was going to go. There is not a spirit of anti-God in the world. But there is a spirit of anti-Christ. Let me explain. Because everybody's got God, but you can't have God without having Jesus Christ. That's why what? There's not a spirit of anti-God in the world. It's anti-Christ. There's a spirit of anti-Christ. Yes. Right. Saying we don't need the Holy One of Israel. Yes. Understand this. Jesus said, I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life and no man can come to the Father but by me. If you want to go to heaven, you've got to go through Jesus Christ. And the Man, this thing's not even going. Last night it's totally different. But that's all right. Now, I want you to turn with me, sister. What did I give you in the book of, uh, is it Corinthians? Did I give you something in Corinthians? Did I give you something in Hebrews? Or is that where I'm at? Yeah. I'm already in Hebrews. I'm a, I want you to turn. Oh, I know where I'll give you. I want you to turn with me to the 43rd chapter of the book of Isaiah. Did I give you that one? Alright, put it up right here. What did he say about us? Yes, we're my witnesses. What did he say? You're my witnesses. He said, You're my witnesses. Book of Acts it said, After the Holy Ghost, you shall be a witness. Unto me, watch. And my servants, whom I have watched, chosen. God didn't choose everybody. Right. He said, many are called. Few. He said, they got eyes to see and they can't see. They got ears to hear, ears to hear and they can't hear. hear. Watch. That ye may know and believe. And believe. Now, here's the part I like. There's a lot of people believe, but nobody understands. <laughs> With your eyes, but you see with your understanding. Yes. Yeah. Say that again. <laughs> yeah. You ever see somebody? Two people look up. And you say, "You see that?" And you say, "I can't see." It. <laughs> yeah. It's right there. And you look and look. I had a friend of mine when he was little. They took his eyeballs out and operated on him, and they put his eyeballs back in. <laughs> Back in the 80s and 90s, how many remember those popular pictures, 3D pictures? Uh -huh. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. You sort of have to look at it. And yes, stare. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. He would stand and he would look for hours. He'd go just like him. I said, you, you can't see those eagles flying over that cornfield that picture? He said, I just see a bunch of dots. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. He would look, he would try his best. He said, Mike, I can't see it. Can't see it. <laughs> Same way with the gospel. There's people looking and looking and looking until God anoints your eyes with yeah. eyes yeah. You'll never see this message. It's all the
that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am who? He. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. am. What? That if you're my message, this I am is the same I am that Jesus said. No difference. No difference. I am that I am. Watch this. Before me, there was no God. Oh. Neither shall there be after me. Next verse. I, even I, am. Uh oh. <laughs> the Lord. And besides me, there is, there is, there is no what? Say that. Uh oh. <laughs> Woo. Now, if it's God ain't the Savior and Jesus Christ says He is, we got a problem here. Not unless they just say something. Wait a minute. You're about, you read the book. Now, if you don't believe it, take your magic mark and mark it out. Right. But I promise you, there is not but one Savior. Yeah. One Savior. I, if you run this, I am to the same I am that Jesus said, it's the same I am. Yes, Come on, watch this. I, even I am the, and besides me, there is. There is. No Savior. Now, you may want to think there's two Saviors, but I promise you, they ain't but one Savior, right. and it's the I Am. That's right. right. Now, what's this? Now, look, look what's going on right here. Next verse. I have declared, I have saved, and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. God. Now, wait a minute. That I am. This I am Savior. This I am Son is the same I am that was in the bush. He said, I am. God. God. He said, I am. Yeah. That I am. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God, I'm her Paul Paul. <laughs> I'm proud of my granddaughter's school teacher, Mark. Mark like me. <laughs> 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 He got carried away in the morning. But anyway, watch. Uh, that's my wife. So that makes me a husband, don't it? Yeah. That makes me a pawpaw, don't it? Yeah. My daddy's 85 year old. And man, he, he just ball hell. So that makes me his son, don't it? Yeah. I'm place of praises, bishop. So that makes me a bishop. And I'm Henry's friend. So right now I'm occupying the office of bishop, papa, husband, son, and friend. But if you're going to write me a check so I can buy this lamp for $100,000, make it to Michael. <laughs> Come see. All those others is now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I'm saying a lot of people only know God by oh, boy. Now. Uh -huh. God. Now. So now. But there's a few that knows him by a proper name. Yeah. But yeah. He yeah. A name.
Watch this. Watch. Go on, sister. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, before the day was. I am. I am. Yes. And there is none, none. That, can, that can deliver out of my hands. I will work. And he said they can't nobody do anything about it. <laughs> Book of Acts says that Jesus Christ visited the Gentiles yes. to take him out of people yes. for his name. name. Yes. He said, if my people <laughs> that are called by my name, them will themselves and <laughs> seek my face turn from their wicked ways. He said, then I will hear from heaven and I'll forgive and I'll heal the land. Yes. I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to push something against your will. I'm telling you this, church. I don't know of God. I know God. Thank you, God. Now, Philippians. Did I give you Philippians? I want you to turn there. This for me. But what things were gained to me. Here's Paul. Paul said on the Sanhedrin court, that was the Supreme Court. Paul had rarity. He was a Jew that had Roman citizens. That's the only way you could be a Roman is to own land. Yes. Paul owned land. And matter of fact, that's why Paul got to appeal to Caesar. A regular Jew couldn't appeal to Caesar. They'd go ahead and kill him. But because Paul was a Jew that had Roman citizenship, he had some authority. Before he became a Christian, he killed the church, did he not? Yes, he did. Now watch this. He said, I sat on the Sanhedrin court. He said, I'm a Pharisee of Pharisees. I'm of the tribe of Hebrew. He said, I'm zealous. I persecuted the church. I, I, I'm in the social standing. I go to the VFW. Everybody at the social club knows me. I got credentials. I'm a community person. Come on. That's right. That's right. Now go, go back. But what things were gained to me, all those things, look what he said. Those I counted lost. When you start knowing Jesus, everything else is second. That's right. yes. 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 And anything that's above Him, God will not play second fiddle to anything that's above Him. Amen. Amen. So he ain't, listen, a lot of people, they are not juniors first in their life. Yeah. Michael Jordan and all those other things that goes on. I, you know, I like, I like life good as anybody. I like a good football game. I could care less who wins it though. That's right. <laughs> I've seen people Damn. throw temper tantrums. <laughs> have a con you ever seen anybody have a conniption? My <laughs> God, so good. <laughs> but what things were gained them, those I counted lost for Christ. Now watch. Yeah, doubtless. And I count all things but lost for the excellence. What kind of knowledge? Excellence. Excellence. Of the knowledge of Jesus. Paul didn't just know of He knew in excellence. Perfect. Meaning, I know Him perfectly well. I know Him. Watch this. My Lord, for whom I have suffered. You, you better learn one thing. We've tried to pretty up Christianity. Mm -hmm. That's right. There's a price to pay for taking on the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you think you're going to be popular at work and take on the name of Jesus, you, you stay at the church. I need to talk to you for a while. Watch this. Right. I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but manure. Dumb. That I may win Christ. Now watch. And be found of Him if you're trying to go to heaven because you're good, you're going to miss it. Uh -huh. It ain't about your righteousness. Yes. Right. Right. And be found in Him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law. Somebody says, watch this. 
I've kept the commandments from my youth up. You won't save you. Come on. You never have saved you. Never will save you. Because if it was, if it have saved you, why would we need a new covenant? That's right. If the old covenant would have done it, why would then Jesus Christ suffered in vain? What? Here's what I'm saying. It's on people says, well, I've kept the law. From my, I've hung it on the wall and I read it every day and I've kept it. And he's still lost because the law, the law didn't come in to save him. The law come in to make sin exceedingly simple. That's all reason it came in. Watch this. The, through the faith, well, 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 go back. I, well, go back there. Go back. Go, go back. I didn't, I didn't finish it out. Thank you. But that which is through the faith of Christ. The righteousness which is of God by faith. Now, watch. That I may know Him. How do you know Him? In the power of His resurrection. Of His resurrection by the Spirit. And the fellowship of His sufferings being made conformable unto His death. If you don't know Jesus by the power of His resurrection, then you don't know Him. Thank you. 